Hello, and thank you for finding part two of my video. My name is Bill, and once again, I'm building a photo booth, and I'm at the spot of lamination, laminating the wood, the plywood. Again, I decided and opted to purchase the plywood at Home Depot, and at Home Depot, they do the cuts. Uh, keep in mind, they not do a precise cut, so you want to get a little bit bigger on your measurements in case they do undercut this way. And if they, even if they overcut a little bit, you can still trim it down. It's a lot easier to do your trimming uh, on the smaller plywood than on the big plywood. As you can see, the bottom table here is a full-size plywood. And I have a small uh, garage, or rather, I have a small space in my garage to do this work. Therefore, um, one of my uh, great avenues would have been to get the wood already pre-cut. Um, once again, like I said in the other video, if you get your wood pre-laminated, pre better way to go, uh, especially if you will call it. Now I'm going to start to do the lamination. Um, I already did quite a bit of my lamination already. And I'm all, almost through the second can, uh, first can, almost through the first can. But as you can see, I only have a few more pieces left and one more after this video i got to do, and that's it. Therefore, I will have quite a bit left on that second can. Maybe for project number two. Be sure to put paper down on your table. You do not want any overspray on your table. Even if you don't plan to use that wood for anything, mucking it up with glue just mucks up your workstation. So go ahead and put down paper of some sort. It's going to take about two minutes for the glue to be tacky enough to, to press the wood and lemon together. Two minutes, two minutes minimum. You could let it rest for quite a bit longer and still be able to press the two together. I would recommend no more than 20 minutes. I mean, not that you'd want to press it down to 20 minutes, but no more than 20 minutes. That's can number one already down. I've already completely used one uh, plywood. After this table here, I only got two more pieces to do. We'll plenty left over for another project. I already shook this up quite a bit already, so I only had to shake it up a little bit. That's the sound you hear of a full can. Sprays on so much quicker. So much quicker, as you can see. I'm going to do one more qu quick coat on this, seeing how the last one was quite empty. And that's it. Pretty goes on pretty good. Now, I have some extra, so I'm not going to be stingy. I'm going to put them on the corner real quick. Now, remember when cutting your laminate, it's okay to cut it a quarter inch, maybe a half inch, all the way around. Uh, quor no more than a half inch, but... As much as a quarter inch you would be very, very comfortable with. Um, when you're done with, you're going to frame, let's say, a frame of wood around your wood. And that one, that's how you know you had the right um, uh, level of laminate. Uh, you don't need to go all the way to the edge. If you're that precise, you want to go to the edge, knock yourself out. You really don't have to. Uh, this gives you, gives you some lay room when pressing it on so you don't have to trim a bunch. Trimming. Cutting it all is it's a lot of work. So cut a little bit smaller, make it easier for yourself. The angle brackets will cover it. The angle brackets will cover it, even though the laminate the laminate's only halfway through. Okay. Now this is not my uh, little trick. However, I did see it online. Uh, and that is, once again, reliablehardware.com or diyroadcases.com. But that is, that's put a 2x4 over the wood here. Small piece of wood, I'm probably okay with just doing one. Larger piece, you want to throw two down. Uh, what this allows you to do is lay it on slowly and even it out. Um, it will not stick to the 2x4 because there's no glue on it. This glue, it's like rubber cement if you ever used it, and it needs the, some, the rubber cement on both sides. All right, so I'm going to lay it down. Sorry, I don't have a top view, so I'm just lining it up really close to the edge, but not quite on the edge of the wood. Laying it 
down easy. And actually this sticks over a hair, so this one I will have to trim a little bit. Start from the middle, work your way up. I actually got a little bit of glue on the top side of this laminate. Kind of have some way, but uh, it'll clean off easily. So, roll it on. After you roll it on, and you're comfortable with the number of rolls and all air coming out, I'm going to move to the second one. I have plenty of time, even though I'm at the two minute mark. Okay. Two by four. Now you got a little bit, a little bit of glue gets on the two by four after you're resting it on there. So really not that much. And not so much that it's not going to get it come off. And that is because it does have to be pressed together. Just touching it may not be enough. Next piece. The last piece I'm going to show you for the video. Showing don't press too hard, just roll it down, guide it a little bit, just a hair, not much. Roll it out. Remember, you want to put weight on your lamination and wood afterwards. You want it rest 24 hours afterwards. Put some more wood on top, maybe put some weight on top of it. Make sure it's flat for 24 hours. This will make the wood dry evenly and flat. Of course, I could roll this for 10 minutes and get a lot of the same effect. Per piece of laminate, if you take if you measure out your laminate, it's going to be quite a bit, right? So that's a lot of ten minutes. Just just rolling it out for ten minutes, no need for that. And you'll notice the little lip we have on each side, and the aluminum framing will cover those lips, no problem. Well, that's it for lamination. When you get when I see you next, we will be drilling holes.